Welcome, very brief video here. Just wanted to see if it's really worth clocking up your CPU for when you're doing video rendering, video editing. Now, I know Premiere, which I'm using now, the latest version, says it uses CUDA, but I've not really had many good results with it doing that. I've played around with the, the I've got a 980 Ti GPU, so it's a fast one, and I've played around with the settings on that, and it has no effects whatsoever on my video rendering speed. And the CPU has definitely affected it, maxes out 100%. And I thought I'd just clock it up a little bit and just see if we're going to improve the rendering performance because the rendering performance on these 4K videos, this one I'm previewing here from the DJI Phantom 4, is rather intent to render. So this is going to be on the 4790K, very similar to the 4770K and the new 6700K. So I'm going to chip this up to 4.8 gigahertz from the stock 4 gigahertz and I'll show the Render time over a minute's render of the 4K video. Okay, so I'll just overlay the the two configurations here. The top one will be the 4.8 gigahertz, the overclock, and the one below will be the stock 4 gigahertz. Now this max is a 100% usage, so you would think any uh, speed increase would make a difference, but we'll see. You've also got to take into account the stability. You really don't want to have an unstable system when you're doing creative stuff because it could waste a lot of time. So there's definitely pros and cons to doing this. Also, you think of the fluidity of the using the actual package because if you're editing, especially 4K video, you want it to be as fast as possible. Premiere actually creates preview clips, which really helps. So it creates clips of a lower, lower rendered value. So you can edit your video into different sections, you know, and do really good cuts, uh, really f uh, fluid actions. And then you go back and render it, and it'll render the actual, f it'll reinsert the 4K, which is pretty huge files. Something to certainly take into account here is when you're rendering like this, you can do render in and out sequence with all your special effects. So that's something else we're not, I'm not uh, testing here. And that will obviously take up CPU power if you're using a lot of sp uh, different effects from uh, in Premiere or Vegas, whichever tool you use. That's going to slow everything down and clocking your chip up is going to hopefully improve that a little bit. The 4790K clocked at 4.8 gigahertz has finished the race well ahead. Well, probably about 6% looking at the percentage when it was on. Yeah, 7 seconds. So what's that, 99? Yeah, about 7%. So over a 15 minute video, you would be two minutes faster, uh, emitting any special effects or anything that it has to process. So it's a judgment of your own call. I mean, you don't want to have any instability, as I said before, when you're doing this creation. But I've been running at 4.8 on this chip with no issues, no blue screens or anything. You just have to, it depends on your own uh, confidence in clocking it and not causing any damage and having a stable system and I hope you've enjoyed this little video little tidbit something that's I've been wondering about save a little bit of time when I'm rendering all my YouTube videos and I will see you in the next one bye bye